Constable Nesbitt's misconduct at the border was only detected by our organization as a direct, direct result of peer-to-peer -peer accountability. It was her fellow Windsor Police Service officers who took a stand and made, <clears throat> and made sure that her behavior was investigated and that she was held to account. This conduct is not reflective of our values, nor does it represent in any way the incredible standards of our people. So the Police Services Act is very definitive. It talks about misconduct of all kinds, and it says that every allegation of misconduct must be proven on its merits and must be based and judged on its merits and on the merits of that officer. So although other allegations may seem to be as egregious, uh, it was the standard of this tribunal weighing all of the facts against similar cases of which there were many considered that thought that this was the appropriate disposition, a penalty of dismissal. So um, there's lots of factors that go into making those decisions. Uh, early remorse being one of them. Um, the, the nature of the allegations, of course, uh, an officer's history. There's lots of them. In this case, uh, the hearing officer felt that dismissal, because of the f length of time and the many opportunities that existed for uh, rehabil for remorse in order to substantiate the validity of rehabilitation, just didn't take place. 